Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's card is being brought to you by the brand new Snowflake Showcase Suite that is only available November 1st through 30th. So it's just a November stamp set and it the suite includes two stamp sets, thinlets, and this amazing white velvet paper. I know you cannot feel this on the TV, but wow, isn't that amazing. So soft. Okay, so let's uh, focus in on these stamp sets real quick. So this is the Snow is Glistening. Has a little For You. Sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. Each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special just like you. A cluster of snowflakes, the word joy. Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. A couple more snowflakes. This tree, if you can see, it's made of a bunch of snowflakes. And then this is a two-piece set here. Um, snowflakes falling and then little dots for snow. And you can uh, put them across, keep stamping. Um, and make it all the way across your card so it looks like snow is falling all over your card. So cool. All right, so that's the Snow is Glistening stamp set. The other stamp set is called Happiness Surrounds. Now this one is a year-round stamp set. Congratulations. Here is to new beginnings. Sending positive thoughts. It's your day. Surround yourself with happiness and hello friend. Then it has some leaves. Um, this beautiful uh, kaleidoscope looking thing here. Um, just all kind looks for making flowers, but also you could make these into snowflakes too. So that's the second stamp set. Then last but not least, this amazing thinlet set. This is called Falling Snow. And I know that the glare from my overhead lamp is, okay, there we go. You can see it really well there. And um, I have these stacked here just to save space on my magnetic sheet. Uh, by the way, this magnetic sheet is just um, an air conditioning cover you can get in the hardware store. I just cut it down to size. This is my favorite thinlet right here. How cool is that? So um, can't wait to use that. Then here's some like berries here, leaves, um, just so pretty. Okay. That is called the Snowflake Showcase, and that's what I'm using to make today's card. So I'm using the thinlets here. Um, I'm using this large one, this medium one, and this, no, I'm sorry, over here on this one. Uh, whoo, I lost it. Oh, there it is, this tiny one here. Okay, so those are the thinlets I'm using, and the stamp set, I'm using Snow is Glistening. I'm just using the word joy here. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do a technique called salting, and it's really cool. So, so we we're go. going to make salt watercolor background. It's a salting technique, really fun. Basically, what we do is we're going to get this water paper, watercolor paper really wet. We're going to add some color to it, and then we're going to shake salt on it. Haha! <laughs> and you're going to have this amazing creation. All right, let's get started. So, first of all, we want to get the watercolor paper really wet. So I'm using my aqua painter and I'm actually dipping it into water. Even though the aqua painter has water in the barrel, it's just faster because you really want your paper very wet to get this really cool effect. All right, I've got water everywhere. Now I'm going to add some color. I'm using Bermuda Bay and I just have another little dish here. Put a few drops in there and paint it around. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Now for, um, I'm going to leave it darker at the bottom and lighter at the top and bring this color up here. Leave all that blue down there and just light, just to have a variegated look or a um, ombre look, that's what they call it. Anyway, so it's a little darker at the bottom, a little lighter at the top. Now, for the fun part, you just take your salt shaker, and I'm just using Mediterranean salt. Um, Mediterranean salt is large, so uh, I just put some in my hand, and I just kind of sprinkle it. All right, and that's good, and that's all I want. Now, you let this sit until it's completely dry. 
I always wait overnight. I just go and work on another project and then tomorrow I will finish this project. If you're short on time, you just keep checking until the paper is all dry. Okay. So it's the next day and we have our salt watercolor background paper. It's so pretty. I want to bring it up so you can see a little closer. Cool, huh? Yeah. I just want to show you one more. There are, here's another one. Now, this one I made with the larger pieces of rocks, salt rock, rock salt. Yeah, rock salt. Um, and this is made with the smaller. So you can see the difference there. Um, well, now that we have our background paper, let's create a card. Okay, I've brought back our watercolor paper. I've trimmed it down to three and three quarters by five. And don't worry, all of the measurements and supplies are on my blog and the link is in the description below. So I want a white card base. So I have an eight and a half by 11. Uh, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, eight and a half, 11 cut in half. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm having a horizontal card direction. So I've taken my silver sheet and I've created out of the very, the largest one. And we're gonna place that there. Then we have in this new suite, uh, Snowfall Showcase, is this velvet paper, um, white fuzzy paper. I know you can't see it, but it's so, so soft. It's so pretty. Okay, and that's just going to go there. And then I'm going to take another silver uh, of the teeny tiny, and I'm going to lay that one right there. And then I'm going to put the sentiment on, this is one inch by two and a half. So one inch by two and a half. And I got the word joy from the Snow is Glistening stamp set that is in this new Snowfall Showcase. I'm sorry, yeah, Snowflake Showcase. Um, all right, and because I used Bermuda Bay um, ink to create this background, I'm just going to use Bermuda Bay to stamp my sentiment. So there we go, and Joy. I'm going to leave just a little bit of room on my strip at the end so I can clip it and make it like a flag. Okay. And down and up. Beautiful. Now that we've stamped it, I want to trim the end here. So let me get my snips. And the way I make flag tails is I just snip up the center just a little bit. And then I go from each corner to where I snipped. And there we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to put that right there. All right, let me get some adhesive and we'll put this together. All right, I have regular dimensionals. I have mini dimensionals. I've got a tape runner. We should be good to go. All right, so first let's put our layer together, get the base out of the way. Take these snowflakes. I need one more adhesive and that is liquid glue. Um, when you're working with watercolor paper, you really need a very strong adhesive. And I want my snowflake to stay put. Look how detailed that is. Isn't that, I mean, it's just so pretty. Um, yeah, I'm going from dark, darkest part of my card to the lightest. I'm gonna put my snowflake over here in the darkest part. And Again, because I'm, I'm working on a, uh, a metallic surface there, I'm going to use liquid glue again. And I'm not too concerned about it getting out because I'm going to put that other snowflake on top of this. And there we go. Now my last one I'm going to put up on a, on a dimensional. So this little, this little guy gets a little teeny tiny dimensional. I'm like using my pickup tool to get these little bitty dimensionals. So I just lift it up off the paper there. And then that way I can get very accurate placement. Because it has to be right in the center. It just fits 
in the middle there. Right, peel back the backing. Oh, and one thing I totally forgot. I forgot to put the sentiment. Oh, it's still wet, so that's good. Where's my sentiment? Totally forgot I wanted to put this under here. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I just... <laughs> so simple. I mean, it's just Bermuda Bay, silver, white, that's it. All right, for my card base, first let me score it. Or I mean fold it. Okay. And I'm gonna use the large dimensionals for this. You know what, I have a leftover piece. I'm gonna use my leftover piece and use, since I'm lifting this whole entire layer up, And voila, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so this card was really simply made. Um, like I said, I got my watercolor paper completely wet, then put color on it, sprinkled salt, let it sit overnight. The next morning, using the brand new Snowfall Thinlets, and there's tons of them. Bring that back into view here. Tons of these thinless. I mean, it's really worth the investment. And these are only available in November. All right, so I created the large one with silver, the medium one with white, and the teeny tiny one. Where's the, this teeny tiny? So I used all the ones that have like a diamond tip at the end of the snowflake. Did that. Um, this is one inch strip here. The joy is from the stamp set. Snow is glistening. And voila, a beautiful card. Uh, really simple, but just so elegant. Love it. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this card. And remember, if you uh, like card tutorials, you can um, subscribe to my email. Every week I send out a card tutorial. Um, also, this time of year, I have um, the 12 weeks of Christmas going on. So you're getting two card tutorials right now. The link to subscribing is in the description below. Also, if you like this card, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your crafty friends and let them know about my YouTube channel. I sure appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, and just have a wonderful day and go and make some beautiful cards and send them out. Don't forget to send your cards out. Okay. <laughs> Talk at you next time. Bye-bye.